point in there, being more physical than, than them at their home. It was a hard game, though. Know, great shots. They came out kind of big. Uh, the big man was doing pretty good, and that kind of kind of set us back a little bit. But other than that, we just pushed through. You got. Do you think this team is excited to get the Big Ten season started here? Yeah. Are you talking about us or them? Yeah, you guys. Oh, yeah, man. You got to play in one of the top teams in the nation. Our first game in Big Ten, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get a win. Everybody else trying to get a win. So, just, just, we get this win, it be a great start out for the Big Ten. How how critical is it to play well against a, a you know top three team in the nation here right off the bat in the Big Ten? Uh, It's kind of... It's kind of shaky, you know. People got a little butterfly weather and that really just come out and play and just be ready. Um, have you watched them much? No, we didn't watch them today. Have I kind of watched. I think they did they have a game yesterday. Louisiana and Maryland. Last time. Yeah, I kind of watched like a little bit of that, but people like to change the channel. But it's not good. <laughs> from from what you've seen so far this season, their their guards are pretty tough. Just how important is it for you guys to lock them down defensively? Um, I haven't really watched their guards as much, but I'm just worried about the inside game. Really, that's just what I worry about. But their guard wise, uh, container Aaron Craft really just off the bounce. I remember he gave me trouble last year just guard him off the screen. So just pretty much guard out the screen, and then the other guard just make sure they just limit their shots and just make them drive to home more. And lastly, just opening the Big Ten at home. How nice is that? That's good. You know, that's just, we got home court advantage. You know, last year we played them at home. They beat us, but. Okay, we're going to get it this year. How important is it to try to carry over some of that mo momentum from uh, Sunday as you guys begin the Big Ten play? Uh, I, think it, I think it's very important. I feel like it, it's give, it gave us uh, kind of a level of where we can play on a night-to-night -night basis. And, you know, we had a good game. We came out in the second half and played well, just like we did in the first. So I think that's uh, it showed us that we could, you know, we could play with the best team in the country. Uh, we could put two, two halves together as well. You guys just – from feeling in the locker room, you guys excited to get Big Ten play started? Uh, I think so. I know I am. Um, this is my first time being in, playing in the Big Ten, so you know I'm kind of excited uh, hearing about all the different teams, different players that the teams have. You know, it's kind of you know I like to play against the best. So um, playing Ohio State first is simply that playing against the best, and you know, I'm looking forward to it. Opening up against a top three team in the in the country, just yeah. what can you guys? Uh, how big would that be? Uh, I think uh, uh, we come out and play like we did and a little better against West Virginia, then we'll be fine. Um, I feel like, you know, rankings don't really mean much, but uh, I know that team is really good, and, you know, they've been together for a while, and um, they got a pretty good uh, defensive core, so I think, you know, if we play the right way, then we'll be fine. Obviously watching film today, but have you been able to catch any of their games uh, so yeah, far Yeah, I've watched year? most of their TV games, um, watching Aaron Crabb, Shannon Scott, and all those guys. Uh, Play together. I mean, I feel like we have we have just if not the same amount of talent, but more. I feel like um, you know uh, playing against those guys would be it'd be a test of our of our character and um, see how, see where we're at. That's got to be nice to open up at home too. Yeah, definitely. I think it gives us a little bit of an advantage, uh, seeing uh, that we have uh, one of the best crowds in the Big Ten. I think. Is it to try to carry over some of that momentum as you guys uh, begin Big Ten play? Uh, I thought it was just. It was a great win, um, especially going into the Big Ten season. Um, I think that game uh, definitely gives us a lot of confidence. And, um, uh, you know, coming into the Big Ten, we need that to uh, go against these other teams and try to pick up some wins. Do you feel like there's a sense of excitement in the locker room to begin Big Ten play? Definitely. I think so. I think everyone's ready for it. Um, I think this is what, you know, uh, everybody been waiting on. Uh, you know, everybody know that it's great competition. Everybody is just ready to play, and that's a good thing. Start with Ohio mm -hmm. State. Not sure how much you've been able to watch them just on TV or, or in general, just your thoughts on those guys? They're good. I think, I think they're a great uh, defensive team, uh, especially with the guards. They, uh, you know, kind of lock down uh, most of the guards that they go against. They're uh, also a great team. Also, they share the ball pretty well, and uh, you know they're they're just a great unit all over. Um, uh, Aaron Crabtree is a great point guard, and you know they got a lot of um, they got a lot of people that they can share the ball with. Uh, to begin Big Ten play here at home, it's got to got to be huge, <coughs> especially when you're facing a team like that. Uh, you guys obviously feel like that's an advantage to begin Big Ten play at home. 
Yeah, I think so. It is. Uh, I think just going right into it, starting off with uh, you know a high-ranking team right off the bat is just a great thing. Uh, I think everyone, everyone will be ready for it. Everyone's looking toward it, um, and we'll just see what happens when the time comes. And if you, if you guys were fortunate enough to to get the win, just how big of a springboard could that be to to get a win over a you know top five team in the country? That'd be a great win, I think. Um, you know, just especially going in and playing against all the other teams, um, it just help our confidence even more, and, uh, get our heads up even more, uh, get everyone believing that we can you know beat anyone we face. Okay, you, you're shooting, uh, I think, forty seven percent from three point range. What's been uh, what's been kind of clicking there? Oh, um, for you personally, ha- I think just having that confidence um, and just. Uh, getting up extra shots and stuff like that. I've been getting up uh, extra shots before practice and stuff. Um, I, I just think just just having that confidence and, and being uh, comfortable with my shot uh, has helped me. Matt always talks about uh, this is a better team when it shoots rhythm threes. What's a what's a rhythm three for you? I feel like um, just stepping in my shot when when it's uh, when it's given to me. Sometimes when I miss, uh, it's because I stop, pause, and, and uh, wait for a shot when. Like we're on the break or something like that, and then Ronnie throws it to me, and I just step into my shot and shoot it. Um, that's like a rhythm shot for us. Um, but if it's out of rhythm, uh, maybe you don't catch the ball right or stuff like that, or um, it's not the right place on the floor, um, the, the coach, you know, he says it's not a rhythm shot. If opposing defenses have to, I guess, concern themselves a lot more with that with that portion of your game this year, how will that help, uh, I guess, the rest of your game? I don't think it really helped me. We was watching film yesterday. Um, it's, it's kind of people are closing out to me a lot, uh, a lot faster, um, and I, I got to get used to that. Um, and I, I've had times where I could have drove the ball, uh, and just watching film and, and noticing those times uh, when I have people like big guys running out, you know, I, that I can rip on a, a drive. Um, it's going to be it's going to be something that's uh, going to be good for me. Collectively, you guys are way up from three point. Um, Percentage, and I think you're trending upward because you know Sterling's starting to make mm-hmm. has been pretty hot here the last couple of games. Just uh, do you kind of notice any differences in the way people are, uh, in, just in terms of how that helps you from an offensive perspective, not only in terms of making the shots, but also just what it opens up for other people. Um, I really think it, it's good, you know, because um, we, we try we try to get the ball inside early, um, but then once they collapse inside, we're making outside shots, so it's going to make it easier for um, AJ and Jay, you know, to, to get their moves off. Um, not only that, um, it's not as easy to, to just go to zone on this and, and distract us, uh, our offensive flow. Uh, I think we've been doing pretty good against the zone. So. Just, uh, just kind of speaking of offensive flow, the West Virginia game was uh, probably one of your guys' better games collectively from a patience right. a standpoint offensively. Does that serve as a pretty good model for uh, you know, the way everybody wants to play uh, from here on out? I think so. I thought we really played with composure down the stretch especially. Uh, we're just, just moving the ball and getting our best shot, not the shot that they want us to have. And um, I think that's going to be something that's huge uh, against Ohio, Ohio State going into our next game too. So um, just watching that film and seeing what we did good and what we didn't do good, uh, I think it really helped me. you feel like coming out of non-conference play, that's something everybody understands or everybody's still grasping? Um, I think they understand it. Um, you know, we just got to see, you know, going into these next games. Um, but I feel like uh, after the last game, uh, we had guys taking their shots, and I thought uh, – that's the reason why we want to play good, uh, offensively. Yeah, yeah. I mean, me and Sterling are, are looking to as far as making shots. Uh, and when we do that, it opens up driving lanes for Toronto, Rodney, Bryson, things like that. And, uh, you know, it's just when everyone does their own job, it makes the game a lot easier. But, uh, you know, when we're not making shots, it just makes it a little bit tougher to, to get in the lane. Do you see, I don't know, I don't know if we've gotten deep enough into the season um, for this to happen yet, but have you seen maybe – a little more space for yourself because Toronto's making shots and Sterling's making shots. And yeah. Uh, you know, I'm still just trying to learn how to figure out uh, when to attack, when not to attack, when to run the offense, things like that. Uh, but definitely when uh, other guys are making shots, it makes the game a lot easier. I never had a chance to ask you about your three-point play at the end of the West Virginia game. Just Was that just something that, I guess, you saw an opportunity in Kobe? Yeah, you know, you closed out. Uh, and I just, uh, I won't buy him on the closeout. You know, Coach Payne talks about that. It's, one of the hardest to defend, so uh, just drove and then. And the ball's already in there. Just don't, 
it seemed like the West Virginia game, from a collective standpoint, offensively, was one of your guys' better games from a patience uh, standpoint offensively. Did you kind of sense that, too? Yeah. Um, we really made them play defense about uh, 25, 30 seconds each, uh, each um, possession. Um, and with that, you know, it just pairs down the opponent, and we're getting good looks that we want rather than being rushed, um, especially when we're on the road. You feel like everybody understands the importance of that now, or is it still a work in progress? Yeah, we, we had a nice game to look back and, and know uh, that we're able to do it, that we're capable of, uh, of being patient. Uh, and now we can just build from that and take it into the big things.